Knox County Sheriff Tom Spangler is raising concerns about jail overcrowding. He told commissioners last week the jail has 1500 people in custody. That's about 250 more inmates than beds. Today, the sheriff's office said about 200 inmates are waiting to be transferred into state facilities. 10 News reporter Grace King joins us to explain the problem. Grace. Robin, decades ago, a court ruled that Knox County inmates must be transferred to state facilities before inmates from other counties. But the state is so overcrowded, inmates are staying in Knox County longer. We're a little over 250 over right now for what our capacity is. For decades, the Knox County Jail has struggled with overcrowding. County commissioners every year are faced with the choice of where do we put our money? Do we do something about our overcrowding in the jail? No, let's wait. And after decades of waiting, there's a mess. A new study introduced last month looks at what commissioners and law enforcement can do. You see Knox County taking affirmative steps to deal with the same. We've got a pretrial release program. We've got other programs in place to get folks out. Still, Knox County Sheriff Tom Spangler says part of the problem is out of their control. As of Thursday, more than 200 inmates are awaiting transfer to a state facility. We're going to make one more attempt with that before we have to take another step with that that may not be uh, uh, the most popular thing to have to do. The Tennessee Department of Correction says it's working diligently to, quote, help alleviate the incarceration challenges facing our state. In doing so, it's taken 414 offenders from Knox County in 2019, more than anywhere else in Tennessee. And Commission Chair Hugh Nystrom says jail overcrowding is a topic he expects to revisit soon. Robin and John. Grace, thank you.